Hi, I wanted to read this book to you, Why Do Leaves Change Color? Because we've been seeing that the leaves are starting to change. You can probably hear my chickens in the back. It's by Betsy Maestro and illustrated by Loretta Krupinski. Look at the leaves. It's autumn and leaves are turning red and yellow, gold and brown. Each type of tree has its own kind of leaves. The colors of autumn leaves differ from tree to tree. Wow, look how beautiful those trees are. Leaves come in different sizes and shapes as well as colors. Hey, that's what we've been talking about. Some leaves are wide and others are narrow. Some have points while others ha are round. All these different shapes of leaves. Just a few weeks ago, the leaves were green. Back in the spring, the tiny new leaves uncurled from their buds. The green color in the leaves helps them hold on to the sunlight. Chlorophyll gives the leaves their green coloring. Chlorophyll is a natural coloring called a pigment. And boys and girls, this is a super, super close up of a leaf. And we can see the green color in there. Those are called the chloroplasts and the color is the chlorophyll. Leaves are very important to the tree. They make food for the tree. Leaves need sunlight, water, and air to make their food. Hey, that's like a recipe. If you want to make cookies, you use flour and sugar and butter. For a leaf, it needs sunshine, water, and air. In the fall, many things are changing. In many places, there is a change in the weather. There are changes in light and temperature. Inside the leaves, there are changes too. All of these changes make the colors beautiful in the fall. In the fall, there are fewer hours of sunlight each day. The change in light tells the tree to get ready for winter. Winter is a time of rest for the tree. When winter comes, the tree will have to survive with less water and less sunlight. The tree begins to get ready for its winter rest. The leaves are at the end of their life. When the leaves die, they fall from the tree. This will happen slowly over a number of weeks. Without the water, the leaves cannot make new chlorophyll. The old chlorophyll fades away and the green color disappears. Now, other colors can be seen in the leaves. The other pigments have been there all along, but they were hidden behind the dark green chlorophyll. Once the green color fades, the other colors, the yellow and the orange pigments can be seen. Oh, look at these pretty colors. After the trees have changed color, they are ready to separate from the tree. When they are just barely hanging on, a little bit of wind or rain will make them fall to the ground. In just a short time, the tree will begin to look bare. Piles of dead leaves collect under the tree. Some will blow away and others will be raked up. The leaves that are left behind will begin to rot. Over time, they will become part of the soil. Leaves enrich the soil with minerals that the tree needs to stay healthy. So sometimes we need to leave some leaves there on the ground to help the, neck, the tree make new leaves next year. What a fun book. Why do leaves change color?